If you thought the story of Seabiscuit was a tearjerker, load up on the Kleenex and check out a horse named General Quarters. The gray colt with the distinctive white diamond in the middle of his forehead cost all of $20,000. He was claimed last May after his maiden race by a 75-year-old retired local high school principal named Tom McCarthy. In all those years when you saw other people taking horses over and you thought in the back of your mind, what would I be doing? What does it feel like now to be the guy in that well, picture? It, it's, it, <laughs> Uh, I'm glad I had that, all those experiences and have been here for so long because it's made it so easy for me. But uh, it's it's a little new, and uh, you know I've got a lot of support. Uh, my two boys have taken the uh, uh, week off to give me a hand. My brother has flown up from Houston here uh, to uh, uh, give me a hand. Uh, so I, I'm. I feel very well. In all those mornings that you spend training the horse, and I guess every trainer in the back of his mind thinks, I'd like to get to the Kentucky Derby. You know, now you're at the at the far end of all that stuff, and here you are at the Derby. Is it just one of those pinch me stories? Yes and no. I, I, I guess I've planned in my mind what I do many times because I'm I, I'm just doing it. I'm enjoying it. I really am having a wonderful time. Uh, I think age might have a little something to do with that, but the feelings on the inside and everything are just like they were when I was 25 or 30. I mean, they don't change. This is sort of the final exam. What would you give, what grade would you give General Quarters coming up to this race? Well, uh, I'll just say this. He's probably just as good as he's ever been, yeah, go, going into the bluegrass. Uh, the bluegrass was just a little bit tougher than I thought it was. He came out, he ate very well and everything, but uh, I noticed uh, he just wasn't uh, quite as uh, aggressive for about a week or 10 days, and then he, he began to uh, develop that again. So uh, he's right where he needs to be right now. McCarthy had been to every Kentucky Derby since 1955 and watched thousands of other trainers lead their horses over to the track for America's premier race. He never dreamed he'd find himself in the middle of one, though. This is Jim Litke in Louisville covering the Kentucky Derby for the Associated Press.